What's good in the web? Your man Q, that's me, back again with some more of this. Have I decided I'm just gonna say motivational Monday? Well, some motivational Monday. And I decided, well, a couple of weeks ago to start doing this because especially um with all of the situations that's still going on right now in the world through a civil unrest and a global miasma that's what i'm gonna start calling it a global miasma and for those of y'all who know about anime video games and every geekly other thing well you probably wouldn't be watching me if you didn't um it's a disease that plagues people and that's exactly what we're going through right now and i know because it affected me as well where i had to even unplug for a couple of weeks um during all of this situation and mess with everything that's been going down um just to kind of like i like to say pee out all the negative vibes and negative shit and situations and things that's been happening because it's easy to let these things just pile up and fester um on top of one another so i just want to get on here and just say you know what um things are gonna be all right you know and a lot of times i had to tell my own self um the same thing because we have conversations with ourselves 90 percent of the time so 90 percent of the times we're conversating our, with ourselves and that's why a lot of people have not been taking this quarantine and taking this whole um, situation with everything that's been going down very well is because a lot of people aren't used to having to deal with the person they're closest to which is themselves and I guess what does that say for me when I just had to unplug for two weeks? Well, it really wasn't so much of my own cognitive things, my own mental issues that was going down. It was just the weight of everything else that had been piling up on top of me. And a lot of you was probably the same thing. So my thing is, is to say from my own personal experiences uh, and talking to friends and watching a lot of people go through very similar situations, um, especially at this current time, is stop being so hard on yourself please um i can be one of my own biggest self-critics and for those of y'all who know me look for real for real i can be one of my own biggest self-critics and i know a lot of y'all do the same thing with yourself some of the some of the videos i be wanting to go back and just make everything as perfect as possible put 13 hours into a video that i probably only needed to be two hours into but the godsend of the situation is that youtube and twitch especially youtube has taught me that there is no perfection you can't be perfect there's nothing in this life in this realm is perfect so stop being so hard on yourselves y'all because i mean the storm doesn't last forever and this was something i told myself as well because it doesn't it might rain it might have a blizzard it might be a tornado it might be even an earthquake which is really you know quick but those events in the grand scheme of things don't last forever in my 30 years my over 30 years one year is not going to be able to be the one that dictates it and as hard and as rough as it is we control our destinies when it comes to our mindsets because what we think is what we manifest what we think is what we manifest let me say that one more time what we think is what we manifest and for me personally i know how it feels to have stinking thinking or thinking negative with things and situations and for me what it does i can feel the stress sometimes when i'm on that mode you can feel it i feel it in my back i feel it in my spirit i feel it in my soul i feel it all over my body where something that i'm thinking about is weighing me down whether it's finances relationships whether it's career whether it's whatever the situation um how things are um we cannot as people allow those things to be able to control and dictate our mindsets because the biggest battle is not with others it is legitimately within our minds the older we get or not even age because that legit is just a number the more mature we get in 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 the world and with situations with people you realize that no one can take your peace 
or give you peace. It's all an internal thing. And that's what we need to focus on and strive, especially when times are harder. What was it I was just listening to? I listened to sports radio. You know, it ain't no sports, so they got to come up with something. Um, and I listened to ESPN sports radio a lot. Um, and someone was on there. I forgot who it was. I want to say it was Buster Ole, uh from baseball talking about it. And he was explaining that, or he was explaining that someone told him um, people's true nature are exposed during a crisis. And he was like, that's true, but I'm going to add extra to it. And I like the extra that he added. Was I'm paraphrasing here, y'all. True nature of a person is truly exposed of how they handle a crisis. That's when you'll be able to see how somebody and what a person is and how things are manifested. That's why so many people are having problems in relationships or getting divorced or or other things that are happening right now. Because who you thought you might have knew, you don't know that person as well as you thought they did. Because the crisis has, str has struck. Your turned up so animal crossing, the stock market is messed up. So, you know, it's how you handle with that loss that determines who you who you are and personally i decided that i was tired of playing the victim especially for situations that i cannot control unfortunately i cannot control the situation um, when it comes to the black movement or, or 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 the civil unrest i can only do my part with speaking and talking and using the platform that i can do to direct people to other resources and things and that might not be what you can do you might be a person who talks on the phone and comforts friends and family and relatives or you might be a person who does does charity i'm just speaking that these are different things this might not be what you are capable of doing but you know yourself better than anybody else knows you and if it's any other time that you need to get to know you it's at this time so stop being so hard on yourself the storm is not going to last forever and the last thing i want to say um for today is you know i mentioned it so many times before as this being a hyperbolic time chamber but y'all this is legit a hyperbolic time chamber don't come in don't leave this situation with the same mindset that you went into it with please don't for yourself make it better so if you had a problem with typing or communication allow this situation to help you with your communication i mean if you're an introvert and you want to be an extrovert you know this is probably not the best time but you can make strides to that you can get some books and read some books and and, and situations that'll help you in that process of becoming a better you use this time to become the best version of yourself the best version of who you would like to be take an online class and the reason why i say take an online class because here in la out of the 51 counties 52 53 counties we have here in la 38 of them um just went back on lockdown an hour or two ago so because of the negligence of some, many have to suffer. And unfortunately, that's being part of a society where, you know, we're social creatures, social animals, where we, as much as we don't want to depend on one another, we are forced to a degree to depend on one another. But even with that, the hugest relationship you have is with yourself. So don't be so hard on yourself don't beat yourself up please please not only during a pandemic and civil unrest oh, excuse me not only do a global miasma and civil unrest but just in every day also as i said come in this situation flip it the cup half full rather than half empty flip this situation turn that some bitch sideways and well you know a little rock for you continue to think as positive about your situation as you can and continue to stay hopeful because the storm doesn't last always and lastly come out of this situation better than you did whether that's a strong relationship with your family and friends communication you know what you need to do because you're the closest person 
to you. But interweb, that's all I have for you today. I appreciate everybody stopping by and listening to me uh, ramble on. Um, I hope that maybe something I was able to say help you know motivate you. A lot of y'all have helped you know motivated me as well because you said that some of the stuff that I have said to y'all and by my work ethic and different things has motivated you guys and I truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart I really do because no matter who we are in this life we all need somebody and we all need to continue to work towards making this world a better place regardless of race religion creed culture and all of the other exhibitives that that plague us so i appreciate y'all uh i'll be streaming today later on twitch probably some animal crossing because i'm gonna go back to my nintendo's doing monday um nintendo stuff and i might even bring up uh, Felicity on there I end up getting <laughs> Y'all why y'all Y'all get me on this game And got me start collecting cards and stuff I got Felicity Got the homie Dizzy And I still got six other cards waiting I don't know when them was gonna come But check me out later on Twitch I have a video here tomorrow Remember all the time I'm spending money on stuff <laughs> Remember y'all to eat Geek, sleep, repeat. I'll let y'all later. Peace. And if you're still feeling breezy, here's another video for you right here. And right here. Air is 